Hi, Stephen Berry here from Greenfish Marketing. In this short video, we're going to show you the 10 stages to put into a sales pipeline and how to build that pipeline out in Active Campaign. We're going to run through what each of the 10 stages are and a brief explanation of what they are. So without further ado, let's jump in and get them underway. Okay, so what we're going to do is build out a simple pipeline in Active Campaign that you can use as a sales pipeline. Every sales department and division is generally quite different, but sometimes there is a standard sort of procedure. And what I'm going to show you is the best way to sort of build that out in here. So when you log into your Active Campaign account, you go to the overview. This is our demo account. And then you go down. If you've got the dollar sign, you'll be able to click into deals. Now, in the deal section is when we're actually going to build out the pipeline. So you have a tutorial video that you can watch, um, but we're actually going to build it out. So sales pipeline, you might want to call it sales team pipeline or whatever it is. Choose your default currency. We're in Australia, so I'm going to go with that. Um, we can come back to these elements, but all groups and manually assign to start with because it's going to get set up in different ways. Now it will send set up a, three different options to contact, in contact and follow up, which is a great if you've got a really simple pipeline, you can just go with these three. But we're actually going to build it out a bit more from here and we're going to use colors to make it um, work in a way that we want it to as well. So first of all, uh, we're going to add deal and we're going to add a stage and we're going to say new lead. In. or you can call it new lead I'm just gonna give it gray um, to start with and this is where it's gonna start from beginning now I'm gonna use the colors that are here we're actually gonna go in them so what we're gonna do is have our field forms come in here once we set up deals and things like that and we can manually add deals into this section so the first one we're gonna do we're just gonna edit this one and we're gonna call it attempt one and save it and we're gonna change this one slightly and we're gonna call it attempt um, two and I'm going to change the colors um, I'm actually going to make it orange I'm just going to have green orange and red so a little bit like a traffic light um, sort of setup but also in a way that is going to sort of in your mind understand the sooner you can get onto them the sooner you can get hold of people the better they are to be more responsive for you um, and then we're going to have attempt three which we're going to have in red now we're going to start adding some extra bits and pieces in here. So for example, if you people might have completed a contact form and then what we want to do is actually get them to book a call with us and so forth. So we're going to have call booked. That could be someone else doing it for you. It could be a different part of the team. It could be so on and so forth. So we've got call booked. Once the call's booked and you have a chat with them, you generally want to send a quote or send a proposal. Um, so what we can do is then we're gonna create here, well, make up and um, sent proposal. Um, and add that one here. So then what we're gonna do, obviously we've got attempt one, two, three to reach out to people to make sure that we can get hold of them. What we're now gonna do is do very similar, but we're gonna have follow up one, two, and three. So again, we're gonna add stage and follow up one. I'm gonna make it green, um, cause that's when obviously we wanna make sure they've received it, what the thoughts were, is the price okay, is there anything else? What was there something you missed? making it into a bit of a conversation follow up to again i'm going to go with the colors and make it orange you can keep them all the same color if you want and um, you can build it out in your way um, and then you might have follow um, up three uh, again i'll just make it red for now um so you've got the follow-up three um you might at the end of this you've got many different things you might have another follow-up meeting like it could be a call you might have a meeting book you might have a second thing you might want to then like they said yes they're ready to go you send them an invoice you're waiting for them to pay those kind of things so you might have another stage at the end um that's just let's go with awaiting um payment now the reason that um blue on that one um, the reason that um, <clears throat> you would generally use and put the deals where they are so if someone's in a temp one and they book a call you could automatically do this using calendarly that is one of the other um, automation videos that we uh, we have created you might want to do that um, automatically coming through here you might want to be moving people manually yep so and so is booked a call you'll drag them across 
When you send the proposal, you might want to automate this first follow up. You might want to be adding cool elements into it. Um, there's many different options that you can do, but this is primarily what we would say as a good basic sales pipeline to get you going. Um, and then people, you can win them and lose them as you, way, as you go, which will help with your reporting. So hopefully that will give you some insight. What we're gonna build is different automations that will help with this, auto with this um, pipeline. Until then, thank you very much for your time. Okay, so to show you how to set up a simple goal in Active Campaign, first of all, we're just gonna make a simple um, automation. So what we're gonna have is just two emails, say that we're requesting a testimonial after a client, uh, we've completed some work for a client, or they're a new client to us and it's the first time we've done some work with them or however, when it might, they might purchase something from our store. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say testimonial uh, requested and that's the tag we're gonna use as a trigger. Um, and then what we're gonna just do is add an email. I'm not gonna build the emails. Um, I just wanted to show you testimonial email one and we're gonna wait say I don't know five days um, before we send the follow-up email so what you might want to do you can have multiple different ways that um, people complete this it could be a form on your website it could be um, a form on a landing page it could be that they send you an email, um, whichever way, um, you're gonna want to go on and remove them from this automation. And an easy way to do that is using a goal, because then you can see how many people have actually completed the goal at the same time. So you can see how well the actual automation is working. So any second now I will be um, done on this part. So obviously, Always make sure you name your automation, testimonial, oh, I'm working faster than the system. But what we're gonna do any second is set up the actual goal. So with this, um, I'm just gonna name it quickly so we know what it is. Request. So, we've been working with a client, we've finished a project for them. We go in, we put testimony requested on them. It's gonna send them an email. Obviously that email we've built out earlier, it's gonna then wait five days and it's gonna send them a follow-up. You might have another follow-up from there as well. Um, what we wanna do is if someone completes that testimonial and we wanna be able to do it so we could add a tag manually um, or they might complete a form, whether the testimonial is right for them to upload to Facebook or Google or Yelp or whatever else you're using, um, that's a different matter to start with. But what we wanna do is add a goal in here. So first of all, we're gonna add another wait timer for five, um, for five days, um, just so we've got it in there, we might wanna send it off to do something else. And then we're gonna add the goal. So first of all, what you wanna do is click on goal. And then you wanna name what the goal is gonna be. And for this one, we're gonna say testimonial received. Um, because that's what we're, that's basically what's gonna happen when we receive that testimonial, that's when we know that this goal is completed. So then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add a tag. So for example, we have a field um, on a website, on a form that when some, on our website with a form that when someone completes a testimonial, it will get sent in. Occasionally some people do respond via email and with some video ones, we do get a, a link that we download anyway. But we also wanna just say that we've received it. And what we do is when we receive it, we put a tag exists um, testimonial testimonial received so once we receive that tag and once we receive that testimonial we add this tag and what we're going to do here with this goal is when the goal is below the contacts position yep and then continue if it doesn't meet this if they don't have this tag it will just continue anyway and then save 
So what's going to happen is, for example, normally with a testimonial, you'd probably have three emails and then you might have a bit under there that might have a refer a friend, but you want to get them there with the goal. So which we can build out um, later on in a different um, video and show you some other bits as well. But basically, we're going to send them an email. We'll wait five days. If they complete that testimonial in two days, that form will add that tag testimonial received. Once we know that we have that tag, it will do, then just remove them straight down there and mark them as a goal. And then that's an easy and simple way adding goals into your system.